Madam Chair, uh, just just a minute, um, just to put this on record, I'm a bit bothered by the by the tone and the direction of this uh, this this talk right now. Just to make it very clear that misinformation, lies, and uh, all these misleadings do not come exclusively from the Duterte camp. Okay. Neither do they come from just officials that are identified with the government. In fact, the vice president is one of the primary purveyors of fake news. Okay. And that the president is maybe an even bigger victim than she is. Really, uh, please enlighten us. But, but for the record, ma'am, I would like to also stress that uh, as I've given the forum also to PCO to explain your yes. side, I've also uh, called out uh, certain groups like DIA who is uh, opposed to you. And, and I yes. feel that it is also quite unfair uh, for you to be here and for him not to be accountable yes, and, and be present. Um, we have uh, Ms. Hope over here who's actually uh, the reason why, one of the reasons why we have this hearing now. So it, it's not targeting that. And, and in fact, I, uh, I strive uh, to be fair. So Because we, um, we've talked, about, Madam Chair, we've talked about ASEC Boca for maybe like a third of the time. Or Madam Chair, like Madam that. Chair, is that the official position of the PCOO? That. that they're accusing the office of the vice president of spreading fake news, of peddling misinformation? Is that the official stand of the PCOO? Oh. Or is, is it just the personal stand of Ms. Badoy? Okay, before we go into that, uh, the reason why we mention uh, her in particular is because of this controversy of one of the things that we need to be able to resolve to come up with legislation or not, um, about being in government and maintaining your own uh, blog or website. That, that, that's the reason. She's a, uh, more prominent, as you say, the more you are in the public eye, the more responsibility you have. Uh, so it, it, it's not actually, uh, what do you call this, uh, zeroing in. In fact, we acknowledge and we thank uh, the secretary for showing up during our last hearing. So. Madam Chair. Now, with a question um, addressed to me, which yes, I'm yes. addressing to you now. Madam is Chair, I'd just yes. like to ask Lang if a resource person is also um, clarified or qualified to ask questions. You can ask me, and if yes. I feel that um, it is something worthy of uh, discussion, then I will ask uh, the person that you pertain it, uh, that, that you address it to. So I think this is worthy of discussion because it's it's quite it's quite um, an accusation. You say that the president, the vice president, is the biggest purveyor of fake news. Maybe one of the. Okay, tell me, please qualify your For answer. For instance, um, she just said recently that she paints a gloomy picture of the country at a time in our history when all the important numbers for our country are looking up. Fantastic numbers, in fact. And she says it's doom and gloom and nababalutan sa dilim or something. But, but uh, an unprecedented number of Filipinos, 98%, very hopeful. For the first time, it's unprecedented. And this is an international audience that she, that she, that she peddles and spreads these lies about. Okay, well, uh, that's and, her opinion, and and I guess the numbers will speak for itself, yes. as, uh, as you said. But um, 